you think there could be such a thing as an AI doctor? Certainly. I think it will be, uh, it, it's coming quite soon. It will have immense benefits for, for humans and it will also have a lot of, of dangers. Well, why would you say it would be beneficial? Because, for example, an AI doctor could, uh, that, say, monitors, let's, let's take the, the, the classical scenarios that yeah. people talk about, that you go around 24 hours a day with biometric sensors on or inside your body, mm -hmm. and they constantly send information. So you're to, monitored? Hmm? From, you are monitored? You're monitored all the time. All the, time. The, the information goes to an AI doctor, maybe on your smartphone or whatever, mm -hmm. uh, which uh, uh, analyzes all this stream of information and monitors your health in a way which no human doctor can, can, can even approach. And it can do things like diagnose cancer when it's still just beginning and it's still very, very easy and cheap and painless to cure it instead of waiting for a couple of years until it spreads and one day you wake up and you feel a bit of pain and you do, ah, it's nothing and it, it becomes worse and worse. You go to the doctor, they send you to all kinds of tests and by the time they find out, uh, maybe it's not too late, but it's certainly going to be a long, painful, expensive process to deal with it. Mm. So the promises are enormous. Also, the perils are, are enormous and not just to the job market. In, in so what happens industry. to all the regular doctors? They lose their job. Uh, depends. They uh, they need they can reinvent themselves and, and change what they do. Certainly, if, if most of what you do is just information comes in, you recognize a pattern and you make a Diagnose. diagnosis. Yeah. This is something that AI will be will be much much better than humans. Uh, nurses, for example, are much safer. Than, than, than these kinds of doctors. Okay. Explain to us. Um, because if everything you do is just analyze information, you gather information on a patient, and then again, you recognize the pattern. Oh, this is the pattern of lung cancer. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is the pattern of flu, and this is the best treatment, then this is the easiest thing to automate. But if you actually need to give any, an injection to that person, if you actually need to change a bandage or to give a shower, that's much more difficult. Yeah. I mean, the, we are going to have AI doctors long before we have AI nurses. Yes. Yeah, that's, I mean, this is a finding that particularly in Japan, they are experimenting with the difficulty of inventing that robot, which is going to lift patients out of their bed, which is just almost impossible at the moment. Yeah, and unless you have the human beings to actually do it. Exactly, and people often think that, no, we are not going to have AI doctors because a, do a good doctor needs to not just diagnose my disease and recommend treatment, the doctor must understand my emotional state, mm. must take care into account my fears, my, my anger, uh, my depression. This is part of, of treating me. Mm. And people say, oh, an AI will never be able to do that. Mm -hmm. But this, is, this doesn't really make much sense because at least as far as, as biology tells us today, anger and fear and depression, they are also biochemical processes, biochemical patterns, just like flu or cancer. If the AI can diagnose flu, it can also diagnose anger. And the fact that it doesn't have any emotions of its own actually makes it in, in, in many situations much better because it has no distractions. And you know, your, your human doctor may be her husband this morning had a fight with her and she's, she's treating you, but she's still kind of reconstructing the fight from, from this morning. An AI doctor has no husband. So... <laughs> for the moment. For the moment. So, so the AI can focus 100% on you. And you know, people go through, the, through life wanting somebody to understand me, somebody to understand how I feel. People are obsessed with it. I want my mother to understand me. I want my husband to understand me. I want my president to understand me. And okay. you know, when, 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 when two humans meet, it becomes a contest of, I want you to understand me and you want you, uh, me to understand you. And very often we, we miss each other. So it blurs the judgment. But with an AI, the AI doesn't want you to understand it. It is 100% focused on you. And it reacts. If, if it reaches a sufficient level of sophistication, it can react in the perfect way to your personality type, mm -hmm. to your current mood. Actually, the danger, I think, is that people will become so used to computers that are so empathic, that really understand me so deeply, 
that really care about my tiniest nuance of, of emotion, that humans will not be able to compete. We will become intolerable to all these humans who don't understand us the way that the computers understand us. Yeah.